this video is for educational purposes only and only those competent in electrical wiring and electrical safety procedures should attempt this wiring. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'd like to show you how to wire a three-way switch system with the power coming to the light as opposed to the power coming to one of the switches. And we want to do it with just two cables, one going from the light to one of the three-way switches and one going between the three-way switches. A third cable going back to the light won't be necessary with this system. And the system that I'm going to show you today will supply a neutral wire to both of these three-way switch boxes. You see, the way I have it set up right now, see this is a three-way switch system, but there's a neutral in this box, but no neutral in this box. And I went over that in a previous video. The reason this is okay is Article 404.2c. I'll put a link for that video in my video description and you can check it out and check out the code and so forth. Many times these days we have multiple location switches. This is the dimmer with Alexa built in and this is its matching remote and you see the silver here is for a neutral and this one takes a neutral as well. So a lot of times you need neutrals in both boxes and that's what we're going to show you today. The way we're going to accomplish this is I'm going to replace this 12.3 with ground cable right here with a 12.4 with ground cable. I happen to have some in MC it's a little harder to find 12.4, but there's a big advantage of being able to only run two cables and you wind up with neutrals in both of these boxes. So I'm going to turn the electricity off to this system and then we can get started. I'll start by showing you the wiring for the light. I already have the grounds together and there is a pigtail available that will go to the light. So next I'm going to take a three conductor Wago lever nut and put one of the neutral wires in there and then another neutral wire and then I have prepared a pigtail that will go right in here like that. Get them all the way in there and Push this back in here. So now we have a ground and a neutral for the light. So this is the cable that brings the power into the box and here's its black wire. This is the line wire and I'm just going to hook that directly to the black wire that's leaving the box. Put that in right like that. Push that into the back of the box. You see this black wire is not going to get hooked up to the light. That's going to be the function of this red wire. This is going to be the switched power for the light. The other boxes that have the three-way switches in it will determine whether this wire right here is bringing energy to the light or not. So, so ground, neutral, and switched hot for the light. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put the mud ring onto the light. I've already got the cross piece on there. Okay, I'm going to hook the grounds to the grounds. We'll attach the stranded neutral from the light to the neutral from the box. And the hot to the hot. Put that all in the back of the box. Okay, the light is installed. So now I have the 12.4 with ground in place, in place of the 12.3 with ground. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the grounds together in this box right here. We already have a ground going to the box, the EGC, Equipment Grounding Conductor, and we have a ground coming from the 12.3 with ground, and we're going to take this ground from the 12.4 and put it right in to the Wago lever nut, a spot right here. Okay, so that's in there. So this is the three-way switch. And I can, I have a pigtail already on the three-way switch. I'll just put it right 
and there. I'll put this down here for now. So the grounds are all hooked up. We'll push them into the back of the box. Here's this neutral coming down from the 12-3 with ground. And here's the neutral coming over from the 12-4. So we're going to hook these together. I'm going to use a three conductor Wago lever nut. I'll just put that down. Later on, if we would like to use a different style of switch, a digital switch that has a neutral, we'll have a spot for it right here. I'm going to take these and put them into the back of the box. Now I'm going to be using the black and red and the black and red over here as traveler wires. A 12-4 with ground cable always includes a blue hot wire. This blue wire is going to be our hot wire. So I'm going to connect that right here. See here's the hot wire. Is the wire that's always hot. And I'm going to put this right in here. Put that down. See, so, so now this blue wire is going to be hot all the time. And we're going to connect this to the common terminal of this three-way switch. So this goes in the back of the box. So now, with the top label on top, I'm going to put the red traveler wire. Once again, these are our traveler wires. The, the red and the black over here and the red and the black here are traveler wires. And I like to put the red on the top terminal like that. And I'll put the black wire on the bottom traveler wire terminal. Right in there like that. Let's get the grounds together over here. So we have the EGC wire that bonds the metal box to the grounding system of the house. And then I have the ground wire coming over from the 12-4 with ground. Put that right in there. And then here's our three-way switch. It says top right up here. And I'm going to use the pigtail that's already on the three-way switch. And I'm going to put it right in there. Close that down. And this goes into the back of the box. So here's our neutral. We don't need this for this particular three-way switch. So this goes into the back of the box. But I have it ready to go and I have a spot here where I can easily hook on a neutral wire. If I wanted to convert this to a digital three-way switch, uh, I have a spot right here. The Wagos are just great for things like that. It's just so much easier to put this into the back of the box. Now this is the wire that's hot all the time. We connected that, we got the black wire coming down here, we connected that to the blue. See this right here. Blue and black connected together. So the blue is going to the common terminal. So we'll put that right in there like that. We've brought this hot wire, the black wire connected to the blue wire right here. The blue wire right over here. So this is the line terminal of these three-way switches. This terminal right here is going to be a load terminal. This is the load wire. This is the wire that we hooked up to the light right here, the red wire. So it's going to go to the load terminal of the three-way switches. And it goes right in there like that. There. So now this one's all wired. All right, so all we have left now is the traveler wires. And we have top. Right up here it says top. I like to do these the same. Now if you, if you put the black on top and the red on the bottom both ways, it's the same exact thing. But I like to put the red like that. And the black on the bottom. Okay, the black goes on the bottom. And we'll tighten that up. Let's go over this. Okay, the black wire came over here to the blue wire. Okay, the blue wire came over here. We hooked this to the line terminal. It's, it's called a common terminal, but this is also the line because this is hot all the time. And then these are the traveler wires. They go to the bronze colored terminals. And this is your grounds. They all go together. 
I left a spot here on the neutral so that you could hook up a digital switch later on if you like. Then over here we have the load wire, the red load wire, which goes up here to the light. That brings the energy in a switched manner, switching with these switches to the light. And we've got all the grounds hooked together. And once again, we've got the traveler wires, the red and the black. Okay, I normally put these mud rings on earlier before I put the devices on because it's easier, but I, I wanted to leave this open as long as possible for the best visibility for viewers. So you can always slip these over the, the devices. It's just a little more tedious. Now I'm going to put some black electrician's tape around the terminals of the devices for safety. I have the backing plates for the screwless wall plates on and you just click these on to place like that and on like that and there we go. And now I'm going to turn on the circuit breaker and let's see if it works. Let's see. All right, every combination I can think of works. So that works great. So we have a three-way switch system. We've only used two cables, although we did have to use a 12-4 with ground. It's kind of a tough one to find sometimes. But we've got neutrals in both switch boxes uh, so that we can use uh, some digital switches like, like this. Now we're ready for the neutral wires. And I even left spaces on the neutrals in the boxes to hook up neutral wires too. You might also check out videos from Sparky Channel including how to wire a three-way switch system which shows you how to wire this system with the power coming into the switch and then I have the video how to wire a three-way switch with power coming to the light plus the 2020 NEC 404.2C. That's the one where I use the 12.3 with ground going from switch to switch. And another video I have is how to fix a three-way switch system. I'll make a playlist and put all these three-way switch system videos in that playlist. And I'll put a link for it in my video description. I'll put links in my video description for the Weha Xeno Drive number two screwdriver. I'll put links for the 2020 NEC Spiral Bound Codebook and the 2020 NEC Hard Copy Handbook. And I'll put links for the Leviton Decora Plus 3-Way Switches. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm.